My name is Vicki Burke. This is my first night on Ragged Isle, and already it seems a strange and unforgiving place. A place that will only grow more mysterious and foreboding as the night goes on. There is conflict and evasion this night, as an old menace begins its slow, silent sweep over the island. Hey, lady, you might, you might not want to, uh, sorry, never mind, sorry. Stay away from Lewis and stay away from me. Vicki Burke, right? I thought your brother would have warned you about this place. I guess you'll find out for yourself. Goodbye, Harrison. Come on in, Vicki. Have a seat. How do you know my name? I've known you were coming for a while now. I also know you're starting a new chapter in your life, but you're not quite sure where it's going. Well, I didn't actually come in for a reading. It's just, well, I don't really know why I came in. <laughs> well, why don't you have a reading and maybe you'll find out. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, aren't you precious? Consider this one complimentary for the beautiful timing of your arrival. You know what? Here. Take this. What is it? Just take it. You never know when it might come in handy. I want you to go ahead and pick up the cards and focus your energy on the cards. When you feel you're ready, Go ahead and cut the deck, and I'll begin your reading. You're on the right path. It is more dangerous than you realize. You will see things, things other people miss, things you weren't supposed to see. Closer, closer, 
was intense. Yeah. Are you okay? I think so. I will be. Do you know what any of that meant? No, I, I, I don't. Do you? Gosh, honey, I sure don't. Still warm? I told you, Mr. Shaw, it's just like Madame Palalia said. I don't get in for a lot of that psychic nonsense. It's, it's not nonsense. I saw them. What do you mean, you saw them? Madame Clelia said I would get answers up at the North End. Lewis, the North End of the island is off limits. I know, but Madame Clelia was... I don't care what Madame Clelia said. She's not the one. Day. Hmm. Typical island BS. Cut lines, vandalized boats, threats, brawls. It's like preschool with weapons. <laughs> I can always tell when the island is running you ragged. I like you a little ragged. This is where you come to decompress. I didn't know I had a pattern. Most folks on the island come in here to get numb after a 12-hour day hauling traps. You actually want to talk. I like the company. Well, I have to pee. <sighs> How charming. Four whiskeys, set them up. Oh. Boys, we're closed. I'm cleaning up in here. Come on, Rach. We've had a hell of a night. I'll give you one drink, and then I want you to clear out, all right? One drink, we're clearing up. To the wet guy. I know this place. All right, three whiskeys. Max apparently already over his limit. Trust me, Rach. <laughs> Mac needs a drink more than any of us. Bye. Evening, boys. You know, the jaw's not really open. Rachel gives me a special pass so I don't arrest her. Don't you guys have a bedtime? I told them they could have one drink, and then they're clearing out. Mac? Why are you wet? Uh... We were horsing around down by the beach, and uh, <laughs> I pushed it in. Thank you, Paul. But I'm asking Mac. It's like he said, we were horsing around down by the beach, and uh, he pushed me in. Maybe you ought to get him home. After your shots, of course. Good idea. Evening, boys. Sheriff. Rachel. Bill Harrison. Evening, huh. Mr. Shaw. Looks as though people are having a after hours nightcap. What an excellent notion. Tell me, Rach, you ever make a stone fence? I'll have to refresh my memory. Hard cider and rum. Pleasantry from my youth. Tell me, boys, what are you up to this evening? Not much, Mr. Shaw. Just knocking around. You weren't getting into mischief, were you? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. I just remember how much fun it can be to break the rules. And there's something in the air tonight, don't you think? Thank you, my dear. Good night, everyone. You might want to get Mac out of those wet clothes. 
when he catches his death. Wow. Sure is busy in here tonight, considering we're closed. That's your cue, boys. Gentlemen, let's head in. Thanks for the drinks, Rachel. Good night, boys. You're headed straight home, right? You bet. At least you're not lying to me tonight. What, what are you gonna do?